In our last lesson, we talked about using similar figures to find lengths of sides. We are going to use that same concept today in what is called indirect measurement. Okay, so indirect measurement is when you cannot physically measure something, but you can use a similar shape, usually a triangle, to find a length. So say I have a really, really tall tree. Now, I can't climb all the way to the top and have a tape measure and measure how tall that tree is. Okay, But I can use another method to find that out. I don't know why I might need it. Maybe I'm going to build a tree house up there. I want to find out how tall it has to be. I don't know. So, as you can see from my drawing, the sun is out today. Okay, that wonderful sun. And we all know that when, the, when it's really sunny, things produce shadows. Okay, so what it is doing is it is casting a shadow. And here is the shadow. Okay, we're going to just keep drawing. Here. That's a long shadow on the ground. So what, it is, what we can do is if we want to find the height of this tree, let's just call it H for height. We're going to be really creative there. What this is doing, if you look here, we see that we can measure. We can measure because it's possible to stand right at the bottom of the tree and have a tape measure and measure how long that shadow is. Okay. Now look over here. Say I have a meter stick standing on the ground. Yep, I sure do, because I just carry one around. It is also going to cast a shadow. Okay. But we know that this tree is huge. It's going to cast a long shadow. This one is going to cast a shorter. Okay. So I can actually measure this distance. Okay. Watch what happens. If I connect these two points and these two points, I just created two similar shapes, two shapes, two triangles, because the sun is casting the shadow here, here. That's going to be at the same angle. I know that's getting a little scientific. Okay. So I know that this meter stick is one meter, because a meter stick is one meter long. Yes, we know that. And then I took a tape measure and I measured how long is this shadow. And I found that it is three meters long. Okay, so I took it and cast a shadow. When I measured this length of the tree's shadow, I found it was 36 meters long. So I have two similar figures, two similar triangles. I know these two sides. I know this side, and I'm trying to find out what that is. So I get to set up proportions to figure this out. Watch how this works. I'm going to compare the big triangle to the little triangle. So here is my proportion. I am going to say, I'm trying to find this. Length H corresponds to the one meter here. So H to one, and it's a proportion that is going to be equal to the length of the shadow of the big triangle, 36 to three. Okay. H to one is equal to 36 to three, it's proportional, okay? Remember, we're going we're gonna to go in from big to little, big to little, big to little. Now, we have our proportion. We now can cross multiply this order, okay? 36 times 1 on this side is equal to H times 3 or 3 times H, same difference. We usually like to put our coefficient out front of our variable. So let's look at this. 36 equals 3h. And now we are going to divide by 3. So I'm left with h here. 36 divided by 3 is 12. So what did we just find? h equals 12. What 
that just showed us is the height of this tree is 12 meters. Does that sound right? 12 meters casts a shadow of 36 meters. Same thing as one to three. So that is our proportionality. So our tree is 12 meters tall.